Good day, good day everyone and once again we are back together. Alright, so we are still looking at uh, two-dimensional vectors. So if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure you're part of the family. And of course you can get in touch with us. Our email address is info at mlungesinkosi.co.za if you want any other value-added services. Alright, um, so I am going to be looking at scale drawing. You remember in the previous um, uh, video, I had shown you how to uh, calculate uh, the resultant of a force or the resultant vector uh, using, you know, calculations. So today I just want us to look at scale drawing, right? So let's go back to the exercise. It says two boys are pulling a cut out of a garage. Okay, so boy one pulls at 500 newtons in the easterly direction while boy two pulls at 600 newtons in the southerly direction, right? We want to calculate the resultant force. All right, so my advice when it comes to drawing the, uh, you know, a, a, or rather calculating the resultant using scale drawing is that first kind of draw a sketch for yourself, okay? So that once you start uh, drawing the, you know, um, or rather uh, uh, constructing the scale drawing, um, in this case, you'll actually have a pattern on, on, on how it looks like, okay? So um, so we said, first of all, we've got boy one that's pulling. So I'm going to use the head to tail method. Remember, I showed you the head to tail and the tail to tail. So I'm going to use the head to tail method. And it doesn't matter which one you start with, right? So I am going to start with boy one. Um, they said pulls at 500 Newton East. So it means that I am going to have a force in that direction. So this is going to be force one. Okay. And boy two, now notice I'm using the head to tail method, right? Boy two pulls at 600 Newtons in the southerly direction. So it would look something like this. Okay, uh, sorry about those jittery diagrams. Okay, maybe I should start them over. Okay, so let's start with boy one. Okay, just make it straight like that. And then let's have boy two. Um, okay, and make it straight like that. That's a head to tail diagram, right? So at the head of the other one, you start the tail of the other. Okay, and of course, this is boy two, and uh, this is force two, which is 600 newtons. You'll see that on my diagram, um, this is not drawn to scale, by the way, um, and I'll explain to you what it means to draw it to scale. So what is my resultant? You start at the tail of the one diagram, okay, of the one line, and we end it at the head of the other one. So in this case, there is my resultant okay um, I'm trying to make it nice there uh, so in this case you would kind of uh, okay I've just erased it okay so I'm trying to make it as straight as possible right so in this case you would have something like that okay um, I'm not sure why my pen is refusing actually to make that a straight line, but nonetheless, you get the idea. So this would be the resultant force, right? So we know what to expect when we have to draw uh, that force uh, for ourselves. And by the way, just to show you as well, uh, you could have started with the other one, right? So I could have said, okay, uh, we start with force F2, right? Okay, so there's force F2. And then uh, at the head of force F2, then we draw the tail of F1 in the easterly direction. Okay, so there's our F1. And you'll see, either way, you end up at the same place in that your resultant would be in the same direction. So there's our resultant there. Okay, um, there's our resultant over there, right? Uh, in the same direction, and it's exactly the same thing. So that would be your F2, your F1 here. This would be my F2. And in this case, this would be, of course, my resultant. Okay, right. So uh, what I'm simply saying to you is that it doesn't matter which one you choose to start with. 
uh, at the end of the day, you get the same thing. Right, now, we're going to choose a scale. Now, ladies and gents, that is very important, right? I see that my forces are in the hundreds, okay? So I am going to say, um, let's say one centimeter is 100 newtons, okay? So what does that mean? It means that if I wanted to draw 500 uh, newtons, then it would be five centimeters, right? Uh, so that is the scale that I am going to choose, all right? So let's do that, okay? I'm going to take my ruler, and uh, by the way, you would need a protractor as well because you'd need that for, uh, you know, just drawing the angle, all right? So I have to make sure that the one line is at 90 degrees. You can see my ruler does have a protractor in it. It's at 90 degrees, right? So I'm going to draw a force F1, right? And please keep in mind, um, so I'm going to try. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so that's six, uh, that's six millimeters, uh, centimeters rather, right? So from the one line, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So actually, I've made it even longer than it should be. Okay, I'm just going to erase it. Okay, so I'm trying to draw 600 uh, newtons in this case and remember between this point okay let me just show it to you between this point and that point is one centimeter right so i have to draw uh, from that to the sixth one so i'm going to start there okay that's one two three four five and six all right now there we have it that's the first one and I'm going to draw uh, the other one. Uh, remember, force F1 was at uh, 500 um, newtons. So in this case, I am going to start from there and say one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so there we have it there. All right, and all that we need to do, ladies and gents, um, I want you to note I am simply, I'm going to just choose a different color. Uh, and please remember to draw the arrows, right? Uh, all I want to do for now, I'll, I'll draw the arrows as soon as we are done. So I'm connecting from the tail of the first line uh, to the head of the next line. In fact, uh, just so that we see what we're doing. Remember, this was going in the southerly direction and this was going in the easterly direction, okay? Right, I didn't want to lose accuracy there. Okay, so I am going to um, try and connect those two. Okay, so there we have it there. And I want us to count together how many centimeters that will be, right? So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I think it's seven, okay, so seven centimeters, and I think about eight uh, millimeters, right? So in this case, uh, I would say that's about, uh, if we were to put it in uh, millimeters, so that would be about 780 uh, millimeters, right? So that is our resultant. So we measure it and then we're going to use our scale. So that's about 7.8 um, uh, centimeters, right? So that is our resultant, okay? Right, now we're, going to, we're coming back to uh, the issue of, um, of how to draw the scale. So we said for one centimeter, Okay, so for one centimeter, we've got a hundred newtons, right? So in this case, we found that when we measured, it's about 7.8 uh, centimeters. So how many newtons will that be? We can make that X or you can say uh, F rest, okay? 
that's our resultant force so that will be the resultant force so now we can cross multiply if you want to okay so we're going to say resultant force times one that's resultant force okay and a hundred multiplied by seven uh, hundred uh, i mean seven point eight that will be seven hundred and eighty um uh newtons okay so our uh, resultant force is 780 newtons now remember we still needed to give the direction now remember ladies and gents i said there are two ways of indicating direction okay the first one could be you could use what we call a bearing all right and what bearing is is that you always measure bearing clockwise from the north so that's what i want to do now okay uh, to show you how to use bearing Right, so I'm I'm drawing a north line there, right? And so now, measuring from the north. Now, I want you to keep in mind, um, so we said that's 90 degrees from there. But in actual fact, when you use bearing, you know that this is going to be zero degrees, right? So, um, if I'm going to use that as my um, reference point, my zero, right? you know that this will be 90 uh, degrees over there. Okay, so that will be 90 degrees over there. And then now, uh, from that point, I'm going to measure the angle going down. Okay, so I'm going to say, um, if we take our ruler, uh, measuring that angle there, uh, that's about... Okay, I just want to put it on the line itself, just to make sure. Um, right, so that's about, I think it measured 50. Right, so it measured 50, 51 degrees, somewhere there, right? Uh, so I'll take 50 uh, in that case. So it means I have actually measured I want you to note 90 degrees going there and an additional 50 degrees going um, in that direction. So uh, between this line here and the resultant force is 50 degrees, but between the north line and the east line is 90 degrees. So the uh, when we calculate bearing, we always take measure it from the north line um okay so from the north line clockwise okay so in that case it's going to be 90 plus 50 that will give us 140 okay right so in this case it means that our resultant force is equal to 780 newtons at a bearing at a bearing of 140 okay please remember when you say bearing you don't use uh, bearing of okay right so bearing of 140 or you could also say that our resultant force is equal to 780 newtons right at now Please remember, we said our reference is from the east. We are moving towards the south, right? So you can say east 50 degrees south. 50 degrees south. Or you can say 780 newtons south. Uh, sorry. Uh, at 50 degrees south of east. Please note, you are going towards the south from the east, so it's southward from east, okay? Right, I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. Um, that is how you would actually calculate the resultant force using scaled drawing. All you do is just choose a scale 
and then just use your diagram to to measure that okay right i hope that you enjoyed it and by the way you can uh, uh, reference and check if um, you know from the previous video that we did we got more or less the same i think it, it was about 781 and the angle was about 141 but uh, it still is the same nonetheless okay right and i'll leave it here and hopefully we'll see each other again and this time we will be talking um you know uh, uh, about triangles that are not 90 degrees what will we do when the triangle uh, is not 90 degrees otherwise i'll see you guys next time shop shop